There are many variants of this story. However, the one to be told is the most common. Deep in the woods near Blackville, New Brunswick, there are the remnants of an old loggers camp that runs along the Dungarvan River. Back when the camp was still functional, there was a cook by the name of Ryan, who prepared food for the loggers. However, he was quite different from them. So, while the loggers were busy spending their money drinking and gambling their nights away, Ryan chose to save his wages in a money belt around his waist, which he was saving for his poor sick mother. Daily, Ryan would call the loggers to breakfast by making a whooping sound. It was loud and heavy, and the loggers always came running. For lunch, he'd pack them bread and salt pork. At night, he'd call them again for dinner. It was routine for a long while, and the loggers were content with it. So, it was odd on the one day when they did not hear Ryan call for them for dinner. Their worst fears were confirmed upon re-entering the camp late that evening to see Ryan's lifeless body on the floor, with his money belt missing. The only person present at the time of the cook's death was the boss of the camp, who asserted that Ryan had simply fallen ill and died. But the loggers were in no place to direct blame, as a storm was closing in. And so, they buried Ryan in a shallow grave. That night, the loggers were cooped in together, trying to sleep, when they heard a familiar sound. It was as though Ryan were calling them to dinner, but the sound seemed malevolent and began to grow louder. The sound of whoops and moans continued until they were almost deafening. The loggers couldn't sleep. They waited and waited for it to stop, but it persisted well into the morning. When the whooping continued throughout the next day, the loggers deemed the camp cursed and left never to return. The mournful cries echoed throughout the woods until Father Murdoch was called in to quiet Ryan's soul. And though the priest said the appropriate rites and blessed the land, it is said that he only quieted the spirit, but not completely. And so, those who camp in Dungarvan are said to still hear the whooping cries of Ryan late at night. Thank you.